Femto 1100 is a semi-automated polishing and head attachment for the Nano 1000T and 2000T polishers. The primary benefit of the Femto 1100 is increased throughput and polishing consistency. It features the ability to automate the polishing process and to prepare one to six samples individually. A unique design feature developed by Pace Technologies for the Femto 1100 is that it has a variable speed motor. This allows us to match the nano polishing wheel with the Femto polishing head speed. This will be explained in more detail later. However, running the nano and Femto at matching speeds is highly recommended for metallographic specimen preparation. The Femto 1100 is a very easy to use and a very economical machine. The Femto 1100 polishing head can be operated independently from the nano polisher base by running it in the manual mode. The reason to operate the Femto in the manual mode is to simulate manual hand grinding where the direction of polishing can be controlled. This is very useful for preparing specimens with coatings. In most cases, running in the automated mode will increase efficiency and consistency. The Femto 1100 head can be operated in either the manual or the automated mode. In the manual mode, the pistons will have to be lowered by themselves and raised. The start button will start the Femto head. This does not start the nano base. In the auto mode, the system will be operated by the controls on the nano polisher. The variable speed Femto 1100 thus can be operated at matching speeds up to 200 RPM. Pace Technologies is the only metallographic company that offers variable head speeds up to 200 RPM. Thus running the head and base at matching 200 RPM speeds and in the same direction will give flatter and squarer specimens in a shorter amount of time as compared to competitors machines. Additionally, for very brittle or sensitive samples, the head and base can be reduced to 100 RPM matching speeds to be less aggressive. Note if a lot of stock material needs to be removed to get to the area of interest, we would recommend our Penta 7500 belt grinder with a square grinding attachment. There are a number of compelling reasons to prepare metallographic specimens with individual piston loading machines. By matching the head and base speeds, the specimens are easier to plane and to keep square. Older specimen preparation machines fixtured multiple specimens in a central or fixed holder. This meant that more material needed to be removed in order to planarize all the specimens. This required coarser abrasives and additional grinding steps. The Femto 1100 is a more evolved machine that is more cost and time efficient. With single specimen force, individual specimens can be removed and replaced without the need to replanarize. This is very important when trying to open up a sample to a specific area. Once the area is reached, the sample can be removed and grinding continued with the other specimens. The opposite is also true. If a sample needs to be repolished, it does not require taking the surface back to a coarser or planar grind. Let's discuss both the incorrect and the correct head and base speed used for sample preparation of metallographic specimens. The worst combination of head and base speed is to run the head in the contra or opposite direction, especially if rotating the head and base at the same but opposing speeds. Computer analysis of disc on disc polishing shows a very high relative velocity distribution for contra grinding. What this actually does to the sample is analogous to a hammering effect. Not only does this result in uneven grinding, it can also significantly damage the microstructure especially metallographic features such as inclusions, graphite nodules and flakes, or other features of interest. 
The correct way to run a disc on disc grinding or polishing machine is to run the head and base at the same speed and in the same direction. The result as the sample rotates around the working wheel is a uniform velocity distribution. This means we do not have the hammering effect which results in very significant improvements in the metallographic specimen surface finish.